Oh, I see. Yeah, they are present. Yes, due to informations. Yes, about UFO on the internet, on books. Yes, and governments help to release many of the UFO facts. Yes. Yes. So the people are more open now to their existence. So they feel more easy to come to help us. Okay. Yes. In any way they can. Yes. Okay. Yes. Welcome, enlightened viewers, to Science and Spirituality. This week, we hear from Macedonian psionic or psychic researcher Pane Andov. Throughout his life, Mr. Andov, a vegetarian, has had numerous extraordinary encounters with extraterrestrials and unidentified flying objects or UFOs. In our two-part series, he will be discussing his metaphysical abilities, experiences with astral projection, and contacts with the universe. To spread his knowledge regarding such fascinating topics as crop circles, the extraterrestrial hierarchy in the solar system, and the coming wonderful and incredible changes to Earth and humanity after 2012, he publishes a monthly magazine called The Sixth Sense and conducts public lectures. My name is Pane Andov, and I am a psionic researcher and contactee from a very early age. When I was seven, I was taken for the first time where my DNA was changed and I was able to experience certain things that helped me understand uh, dynamics that are very important for the days that we are living at this moment. It all began one night when beings from another world came to visit young Pane. Uh, these objects started to become closer and closer. I started to recognize that there is some kind of opening and there are beings that are, that are staring uh, towards me. I started to realize that those beings are not human, but they're very similar to what uh, was depicted in the movie Contact and Knowing. So whoever is controlling that film industry is getting information from, from somewhere. And uh, the next thing that uh, uh, I recall is that I was, I was taken to, a, to a, a, a room where I was closely examined and uh, there were all kinds of, uh, of uh, laser lights that were going uh, uh, above my body uh, and uh, it didn't, uh, feel any I didn't feel any pain but I had felt it uh, warmer and colder uh, uh, sensations in my body as those lights were actually moving through and it was obvious that they were doing some, some uh, major changes in my uh, DNA structure. Before they let me go they transmitted uh, this uh, uh, thoughts in, in my head. They told me also that they have done something to me that I am able to experience uh, certain things like uh, telepathy, out of the body experience and similar stuff that uh, will help me understand what needs to be done um, in these um, uh, interesting times. They also transmitted that they will be guiding me all the way and giving me the necessary knowledge uh, to, to combine all, all the pieces together and to deliver this, this message to humanity. They told me also that uh, there will be a major role in the process of the awakening that I need to, need to play. The boldest thing that I, I remember is that they, they actually stated that humanity is heading towards an extraordinary change, that many spirits will return to the stars and something magnificent is going to happen. And after a while, they returned me back home in, in Skopje. From that point onwards, Pane Andov began developing his newfound powers and gaining profound knowledge about our planet and universe. I started to experience certain uh, uh, changes in my perception. I started to feel something uh, more like dolphins are feeling uh, the, when they dive underground, right? And uh, I started to hear voices which uh, were the thoughts of my mother, brother and, and, uh, and uh, you know, friends around us. And, but uh, the most interesting thing was the, the sensitivity. And uh, if, I, if I touch something, I was able to pick up uh, data from it, right? Uh, like, like I was reading the, the metrics of, of that object in, in, in some particular way. 
and uh, the but the most amazing thing actually was was uh, that I was able to experience awakening where I was sleeping and but in the middle of the of the night I was able to to see everything to hear everything I was starting to elevate above the bed and as soon as I, I elevate enough I recognize that uh, my body actually is slipping down on the bed and I got scared at the beginning I was thinking that I will die but after a while I got courage because uh, uh, encouraged because uh, I, I noticed that it's not going to be anything bad and I started to elevate more and pass through the ceilings right and uh, I didn't know what to make of it uh, then, but afterwards, uh, after years and years, I, I learned that people call this experience astral projection. When the consciousness is actually uh, using the astral body and is separating from the physical body. The interesting thing was that when I went uh, uh, above the roofs, I noticed that there was a light following me all the time in the background. I didn't feel any any threat from that that light. It was more like a protective type of of light. But as a seven-year-old uh, kid, it was fun to jump from roof to roof right in the neighborhood. As a young man, Mr. Andorf practiced spirituality and further refined his metaphysical abilities. But uh, uh, when I I become a teenager. Uh, I was introduced by the esoteric uh, sciences uh, to with uh, from my uncle who was initiated into Tibetan uh, Buddhism into into chi energy kundalini energy martial arts and uh, what were what yogis were were able to do staying without food and water for a long time and to, to meditate and so on and I started to meditate for hours and hours uh, started to explore my chi potential uh, started to, to train the, the out-of-the-body experience and uh, it took a while when I started to meditate uh, more than six hours per day in the lotus position and that's when the kundalini energy awakened and I started to experience exteriorization of the consciousness. Afterwards uh, my whole perception of reality shifted. Uh, I was completely transformed and uh, I started to look more for answers into the space and universe. No one around me was experiencing similar stuff. Those days uh, it was very, very rare that good literature about this, uh, this uh, uh, phenomena. I knew that this was the way to go and my heart was pointing towards that, that direction. I started to lead a diary when I had put a thousands and thousands of out-of-the-body experiences where I was most of the time using uh, uh, awakening of the kundalini energy and when this kundalini energy reaches my head right i was able to to separate from my physical body and to to become present on the astral plane sightings of ufos have occurred throughout human history in many parts of the world fantastic lights and unfamiliar flying craft have been observed in the sky some governments have closely tracked these events, and the UK's National Archive, the nation's official archive, has released portions of its UFO files on the internet. The interesting thing is that I started to realize that on the astral plane there is a plenty of activity which, which today we would call a UFO activity. If you look outside at this particular moment uh, with a normal camera and you record with normal visible light, you will not see much. But uh, if you put another camera which is capable of infrared recording or night uh, vision uh, with some adjustments, you will realize that there are objects uh, moving from time to time in formations and they're not visible on the on the visible spectrum. But as soon as you uh, uh, exit the, the biological host and you enter the astral dimension, you are able to see all these phenomena and to 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 recognize what is happening. And when when I got stronger, I started to move uh, uh, higher and higher. But as soon as I got to 40 kilometers uh, uh, of height, I was hitting like an invisible barrier, like an invisible ceiling, and my astral projection was cut off immediately. And I returned back to my physical body. And uh, I was attempting this this uh, penetration for for a while. I was training with TSP cards to, to uh, increase my psionic power or mental power. If, uh, as it came to the point that it was uh, stronger, uh, finally I was able to, to penetrate through. 
as soon as I, I, I uh, was able to penetrate out through the atmosphere and to look uh, into the space, I started to realize that the flying crafts are coming and going from planet Earth frequently and in high numbers. And nothing of this is actually on the news. No one is talking about and people live in complete different belief systems. So this started to become very, very unusual for me and I wanted to investigate what um, actually is going on with this planet. We are not aware of this uh, uh, activity that is going uh, around our planet. This craft here is one that I encounter very close uh, to the Jupiter. It was in the, in the asteroid field between Mars and Jupiter. And uh, the same uh, craft is, uh, is visible in many uh, occasions around Earth and also uh, a boat of flight that were going inside uh, uh, down landing on the planet and and leaving the planet but uh, uh, in those times there was no no evidence to prove it martin stops was in charge of one television uh, station in Vancouver from the space shuttles directly to Houston and he recorded hours of, of video transmission. It's on black and white because it's on infrared. They're trying to find the Mir uh, space station. More than 100 objects are appearing on the radar and disappearing and they cannot locate the Mir. STS-80, or the 80th launch of the space shuttle by the U.S., is well known by UFO experts as footage from the mission shows spacecraft from other worlds. This is from STS-80, objects that are appearing in, in precise formation and there will be a, a central one that just low. Every time when there is a storm, uh, above, the, above the clouds there is a huge UFO activity because when those lightnings appear there is an energy that is released and uh, their technology is based on harvesting this uh, discharged uh, uh, energies. Pane Andov, we truly appreciate your sharing with us your amazing experiences with UFOs and extraterrestrials. It is also heartening to hear that our planet is well on the path to soon integrating with the rest of the life-rich universe. For more details on Mr. Andov, please visit www.paneandov.com. DVDs and ebooks by Mr. Andov are available on the same website. Dedicated viewers, please join us next Monday on Science and Spirituality for the conclusion of our interview with Mr. Andov. Thank you for your presence today on our program. Words of Wisdom is next after Noteworthy News. May we always feel a sense of wonder and upliftment whenever gazing into the heavens above. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash ss.